Greetings and welcome to Disrupt Your Day with Petula Sankar Singh. I am the CEO and founder of Vision Ready. Disrupt Your Day brings you the struggles, stories, and success of entrepreneurs to learn from and disrupt your day. Welcome to Disrupt Your Day. I am your host, Petula Sankar Singh. We're very excited today to have Tara, who's our amazing entrepreneur who has a beautiful mission. And um, she will share her story, her struggles, and her success. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Patua, and hi, audience. Thank you so much for having me. What a privilege it is to be with you today. I'm so grateful. And we are very grateful to have you, too. So share with us your beautiful story. Oh, I would love to. So, gosh, I'm going to go back in time to 2017 when I was working <laughs> in corporate America. Mm. Um, and I had finally attained what I thought was, uh, you know, the the pivotal moment of my life being in a management position, making more money than I had ever made before. I thought, man, this has got to be it. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know about all you out there, but one question that troubled me all growing up and as I be began to get older was why on earth am I on earth? What am I here for? What, what is the whole point of this journey? And I always, I mean, always felt like there's got to be more. So I thought, well, maybe the management position, maybe the six figures, you know, these big paychecks would be the fulfillment for my life. And you know what? It all left me feeling as unfulfilled as ever. And gosh, I thought, you know, what's the deal here? This is what kind of society sets up for us is to fit into this framework. Yeah. And here I had attained that and still was miserable. Mm -hmm. So it was late in 2017 that I was asked a question that began to change my entire course. Okay. And it was, what is your passion? Oh. What is it that you ultimately want to do? And boy, at the moment I, I was asked that immediately I answered and I said, you know what? If I could do anything, I would just go bless people. And oh I my said, God. That's, that's what it, it, it just flew out of my heart. Like I had never really... Uh, sat there thinking, well, what is my passion? Like I never, but it was amazing how quick it bubbled up on the inside of me. And it just flew out. And I started listing off names of people that I would go and help if I didn't have to go to work that day. And then I went off to work that day. <laughs> but it started something in me that it began this transformation on the inside of me. And it would be February of 2018 that I would uh, work up the courage to take that resignation notice into my boss's office and actually leave that job to pursue my passion of helping others. Oh my gosh, talk about a struggle. Like my oh, flesh, my natural body was just shaking. I mean, I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking, are you crazy? And I thought, well, I must be, I mean, this is nuts. Like I had told very, very few people because that's something that's so important when you're going through something like this and you know that there's more, you have to be very mindful of who you share it with because people will be very quick to abort that on the inside of you. They'll cause that with their words unintentionally, yeah. but people don't understand it. Like only you can really get it. Yes, and so yes. I took this step, you know, and I, and I walked in there and my, oh, I was just shaking like a leaf, oh. but I knew I had to do it. And as soon as I did, it was like a, a weight lifted off of me. Very interesting, that whole process. So let me ask you. So, because I think a lot of entrepreneurs have that struggle and fear is kind of like that word. Everyone's like, they don't like to talk about it, right? Yep. When we all have, you know, some sort of fear of jumping into full-time entrepreneurship, you know, like you said, leaving that big salary. Now we're kind of like, are we getting a salary? <laughs> you know, are we getting a paycheck every month? So what helped you besides your passion 
to because you know like you said you can't even talk to other people right right to deal with that fear and just helped you as a bird like what what was a changing moment for you as you know besides like it being your passion right well a big one for me is my relationship with god that is a big big one but what started and this is for anyone out there what starts to happen when you realize that you've got this passion or you've got this burning desire, you've got something else on the inside of you, when you begin to really think about it and yeah. see, this is what had happened. As soon as I answered that question, I went off to work that day, yes, but it started to like percolate on the inside. Something was brewing. And yeah. what I kept finding as time went on is I couldn't let it go. Like it would not go away. You know, like I began to uncover this in the little seedling just started to to pop up you know yes. and began to grow and when you start to see this when you start to see what your passion is and you see the vision for where you're headed then it drives you past the fear i actually call it the big f i mean like we need to be able to talk <laughs> yes. about the big f the yes. big f is yes. brutal the big f is designed to paralyze you and to hold you back and and there are ways to conquer that you know there are ways to overcome it and it's getting that picture on the inside of you so big that you literally can't not do it. I mean, I realize that all humanity, and we're talking about all of humanity was waiting for me to Aww. step out of that and step into what I'm destined to do. Um, that is awesome. This is true for everyone out there. There's a gift, there's a talent, there's, a, there's something on the inside of you that we all need and, you know, it's just, it's super exciting. I mean, and it was crazy to, to take, to do this step, take that first step. Yeah. So now that you're on your entrepreneur journey um, and very much in it, um, you have some great things happening. What have you found as your biggest struggle? My biggest struggle is my own head. You know, I mean, really and truly, when when you when you you know a good one that I really work to avoid is comparing. Oh, right. You cannot compare. You cannot compare. So if you're out there and you keep comparing and you're looking at all the whoever's and the whatever's, you have got to stop and yeah. you have to stay focused on what your mission, what your vision is what you see on the inside of you, get it out of you, put it out to where you can see it in front of you, because that is what's going to make you run and stop comparing. You know, oh. they put all the statistics out there for where you should be at this point. It no. doesn't matter. matter. Mm -hmm. You know, when I attain success, Patula, I'm, I'm going to yeah. tell you, I'm going to tell you when I attain success, I attain success mm -hmm. the moment I quit my job to answer this calling this passion. As soon as I said, yes, I'm doing this. I'm going to follow after this. That was the moment I attained success. The rest of this is just like glitter. You no, know, this is just like an added bonus because I saw myself successful at that moment because I knew there was something more for my life. And I was determined not to uh, just stay miserable in the framework that society set up for me. Now, I, I knew there was more. And so yeah. the moment I made that choice, I found success mm -hmm. and everything else now is just like an added bonus. Oh, uh, that's awesome. So <clears throat> in talking about success, and we, we all also would like to know um, about what you have launched <laughs> and what your businesses are. Uh, so let's talk about that first. So share with us um, the first, uh wonderful journey and the newest one sure oh my gosh so the first wonderful journey after i left my six figure paycheck was to give a free gift yes you heard me right <laughs> to right. all humanity now i did not know that that was how it was going to turn out when i initially left had i known i probably wouldn't have left because you know sometimes we don't this is why we don't get all the pieces to the puzzle, right? We need to just take one step at a time. Right. But I'm here to tell you that three plus years later, mm -hmm. I am doing very well giving a free gift to all, all humanity and it's Bless. And it's a mobile app that I created born out of the passion of my heart where people can go, where they can share a need, 
where they can <laughs> offer help to each other. So whether you have a need of your, or your own or you know someone in need or whether you, you have items that you wanna bless somebody with or you just need a helping hand or a listening ear, whatever it might be, you can get on bless, you can share your needs, you can offer help and then you can reflect and look at all the blessings taking place in your local community and around the world. Bless is already global. We're in six oh out of goodness. the seven continents of the world growing on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. It is the purest platform you will find on any app store. There are no ads to distract from its purpose and content. Mm -hmm. It is truly a gift and we do not collect your data. We are not about that. You are not our product. No, no. We, are, <laughs> we are there for for people to come together, to mm -hmm. unite, like we need to unite. We're stronger together. We're better together. We need each other. And I am convinced we are the absolute best help for each other. That's humanity. And so this was what my initial launch was. Uh -huh. um, we actually introduced to the Apple app and Google Play stores on March 25th, 2019. Uh, this free gift for all humanity. And I'm really working to retrain humanity on so many different levels. But primarily, we want people to know that need doesn't make you needy. It makes you human. <laughs> this is powerful. Yeah. And it's okay to share a need. And on Bless, you can share a need without judgment. I know that there are people <laughs> out there that maybe you've been vulnerable and you've shared needs elsewhere and you've gotten all kinds of comments and responses that weren't so beneficial. But mm -hmm. on Bless, you can share a need without judgment because we want your life to be better. We're always there to kind of like help you be accountable. You know, we have systems in place to keep people protected. Uh, one particularly is vouched for me. It's really important that we, we know who you are. So mm -hmm. there's measures that we've taken to make sure that the community is safe. And we really want those givers out there to get rid, uh, to get rid of the get rid of mentality <laughs> and really shift and look to give on purpose with purpose to change lives and impact generations. These are a couple of ways that we're really working with people to uh, change how they look at other people and even themselves. Oh this is so, so amazing. Uh, you must feel blessed. <laughs> You know what? Not every day. <laughs> Not every because because I'm human. There are some yeah. days I wake up and I'm like, wait a minute, you're the chief blesser of bless. And I just don't feel like it. But you know what? I know how to flip the switch. Mm -hmm. I call it the ultimate bad day cure. And that is just setting out to be a blessing to somebody. It could be something so simple. So usually I'll hop on my app and look for what people have going on. Even if I can't meet their tangible need, I'll just reach out and check in. I can't tell you how many lives have been impacted just because I've reached out to see how they are doing. I mean, I've got multiple uh, that have been impacted through something so simple. And what does it do for me? Everything. It totally uh -oh. flips that switch. It is the ultimate bad day cure and it works for everybody. So uh, it's another benefit of bless. Well, that's amazing. So <clears throat> I can imagine that you're really busy. <laughs> um uh, with your app and now you just launched something new was it yesterday it was yesterday <laughs> depending on when you're listening to this yes. podcast but it has it has just been released mm -hmm. just been birthed out of my heart another uh real deal out of my heart you know out of my passion really for helping people i knew from the beginning patula that mm -hmm. that the way that i help people would begin to expand um, I didn't know it would come this quick, but really and truly, you know, at the beginning of this, I, I mentioned that question that troubled me most of my life. Why yeah. on earth am I on earth? Well, now what I've done is I've created a free mini blueprint entitled that, why on earth am I on earth? Where we actually <laughs> yes. answer that question for you. Like we help you discover your why, because if I can figure this out, I want to help other people figure it out. Because if I would have had that, and my other master plan that I'm inviting everyone to be a part of called Pivot to Passion. If I would have had yeah. that in my teens, good golly, man, I could have avoided, you know, 30 years of nonsense. <laughs> Although we know that all of that was necessary to bring me to this place in my life and build the character, but I want to help people on a greater level. So I've just launched what's called the Blessed Life Architect, where I'm building fulfilled lives drafted through passion. And I take you through that free mini blueprint. Y'all are welcome to go to blessedlifearchitect.com and, and get that. 
And then you're all invited to be a part of the four week master plan, pivot to passion, where I actually walk you through how I do this on the daily, how I made my pivot and what I do daily to drive me. And okay. I am driven. I mean, I've got a world to change and I'm on my mission <laughs> and uh, I won't, I won't quit until it's done or I'm done. One of the two. So I think one of the questions that most entrepreneurs will probably want to know is you're launching and you're giving back so much at no cost. How are you making money to live and survive off? Isn't it just so wonderful to wonder that? I mean, like, I know people, they're like, how do you do this? How do you leave corporate and give a gift? You've done this now for three and a half years, no steady paycheck, none. I do not work another job. Right. So my only answer that I can give to you guys, this is, this is how I live my life is I have faith in a God that, that has, that provides for me. Mm -hmm. And it is supernatural. I have no other explanation to be, I mean, I'm being frank with you. This is not like some formula. I believe in Jesus. I have a relationship with him. When he calls you, he provides for you. And so he called me to this. He has ways of meeting my every need that I have. I am well taken care of. Um, I have not skipped a beat. I mean, I really just, uh, I've learned some things about money and a reliance on money that I had before that I needed to adjust and really put that reliance on him. So there's been a lot of growth through this process of mm -hmm. where is your trust? Okay. Because we're all in this world. You guys have seen the ebbs and flows, right? Where your job's at risk, the economy's at risk, all mm -hmm. these things. Well, I serve a God that's steady and he's a sure thing and he never changes and he never fails. So uh, even though I stepped out on faith and it looked like there was nothing, I knew that the God I served, that he was right there to give me that pathway. And he has sustained me. He has sustained my family. It has been a true miracle. And I am so <laughs> grateful. But you know what? There, here's mm -hmm. the other point to it. When you're a giver, if you've ever, if you know anything about farming, you put a seed into the ground and you water it, you take care of it, and you let the sun come on it. What happens, Fatua? It grows. <laughs> it grows. And then what happens? It gives you a harvest, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I've done. I've sown a seed, a tremendous seed for all humanity through blessed. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but get back. And that's what happens. It's just, it's supernatural. There's no other way to put it. I can't give you any other formula for right. it. Well, that's amazing. That is, it is amazing. amazing. So um, how would you sell it? How do you celebrate your wins? Oh my gosh. I just stay in joy. You know, there are so many things to be excited about to not allow circumstances to determine, uh, my emotions really. Now, do I have moments of, of like, uh, yes, I do. I had a meltdown just the other day, but I don't let it last. And there's a joy that's on the inside of me that continues to bubble up, but I celebrate the wins in the, but I keep pushing forward. Like I don't really focus on them for too long because there's so much more I want to do, but I just, uh, not only that, but I have a grateful heart and gratitude is huge. Yeah. You know, when you're just yeah. thankful for every small thing, like the fact that I'm alive, I got up this morning, I'm healthy. Mm -hmm. I was able to go on a five mile run. I mean, all nice. of these things are things to be really grateful for and to see lives changed. Like mm -hmm. I've watched lives be changed and even generations impacted through the power of bless has been mm -hmm. tremendous. And so these are all things that are wins for me on the daily. And I do rehearse them. I go back and think about them and I just keep them at the forefront of, our, of my mind because there's too much negative that can come in to kind of yes. derail you. Yeah, absolutely. I feel that everyone, whether you're an entrepreneur, just a human being should celebrate wins, no matter small or um, big. Um, and I think a lot of people struggle with that. Uh, you know, they don't um, do that love towards themselves. So I think it's a very, very important part to anyone's journey. So, I agree. Yeah. right. So what advice would you give to a new entrepreneur, someone who's just left corporate about to launch their own brand? What advice would you give them? just make sure that the vision that you have becomes so clear on the inside of you and that you put it out to where you can see it because no matter what else happens when you can see it when you can, when you can see it mm -hmm. it doesn't matter 
what anyone else thinks, says, does, doesn't say, or doesn't do. If you can see it, you can have it and you have to run with it. That will be your driving force. Don't get distracted and don't compare. Remember, there's a pace to it and it's progress. It's progressive. Like for me, there's a lot of foundation laying. You know, when you're building something like I'm building a city on a hill, you can't, you, you can't build, you can't lay a shack foundation for a city on a hill, right? You got to like, this has to be massive. So that's what's happening. And is it fun all the time? No, because I can see all of humanity changed and transformed. I can see blessed, inundated with needs, meets and blessings, you know, just overflowing in people's lives being changed. But I have to be uh, grateful that I'm in the place I'm at and seeing what I'm seeing now and keep moving toward that right. ultimate goal and, and be thankful for the foundation laying because it, it builds a process in you. It builds character in you and it's not always fun, but just keep that attitude of gratitude and, and it can be, it can be more enjoyable. Oh, how amazing. You're amazing. Um, so I know you talked a little bit about successes. So what we like to do is we like to, um, you know, and that is defined differently for each entrepreneur and each person. Uh, we like to see how you define success, you know, what you're doing now. It could be like, cause you launched or, you know, that, that type of thing. And us here at Vision Ready, we would like to celebrate success with you. Um, we think that you're doing an amazing thing. So how would you define that now at this stage, like today, like uh, what you're doing? You know, I think success for me today is that I haven't turned back and mm. there have been, there has been that pressure at times to like, this is hard. This is not easy, man. You're doing it all yourself. And, 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 you, and you, there's been moments where I thought, you know what, there, everybody's hiring. I could just, but you know what? It just, I'm telling you, it's this burning on the inside. It will not let me go. And the fact that I haven't gone back is success mm -hmm. for me. I keep pushing forward. Well, that's amazing. And yes, it is hard. <laughs> and entrepreneurship is not for everyone, but those no, who it start, mm -mm. don't give up, you know, especially if it's something that you love and enjoy doing, you know, keep pushing forward. Um, download some of your apps, everyone. <laughs> um, well, get on Bless. You can get, get Bless for free yes. at, the, at our website, or you can get it at the Apple app or Google Play stores, or just go straight to bless-app.com. You can get that for free. You can check out the Bless Life Architect, get the free mini blueprint. If you yes. are, even if you've made your pivot to passion, but you're just feeling like mm -hmm. pivot to passion is for you, that, that master plan will help you. It will change your life. It'll spur you on. And so just check it all out. And I'm just all about helping people. That is my mission <laughs> in life awesome. is to help people any way that I can. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful for this new vehicle by which to do it. Well, we want to continue to follow your journey. Please continue to follow ours. Um, and I would like to toast, do a toast to you. Uh, right. Let me grab my glass as well. <laughs> so what I did is I chose a grape <laughs> that relates to your business and um, your personality. Uh, I like to pair uh, wine grapes and varietals to people's businesses and personality. Um, hopefully I'm like getting it right every single time, <laughs> but you know grapes are complex it's not easy and that's not an easy journey and i kind of compare it to being an entrepreneur as well um and that whole journey of entrepreneurship so i chose actually a riesling which is pleasant and sweet um uh you're kind and genuine uh, people can count on you to be a good friend and often come to you when they need help or guidance bottom line you're a really good person Oh, that's so sweet. Cheers. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you so much. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah, I feel like that it really matched from the first time I spoke to you to now. So wow. How do you how do you spell it? Because I'm gonna look it up. R E I S L I N G. I got it. Okay. So thank you so much again for joining us. And we hope to continue following your journey. Definitely follow us and have a blessed day. How about that? And week. <laughs> Thank you, Patula. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.
Thank you for listening. Make sure and subscribe to our podcast. For the latest entrepreneur buzz, sign up for our e newsletter. Link in description. Remember, success is like a hangover. Cheers.